This video will be about multi-step inequalities. So when you have multi-step inequalities, um, we're going to start with some more basic where it's just two steps are involved. So when you're solving any equation, the goal is to isolate the x to get x alone. And normally what you do is you take care of any addition and subtraction pieces first and multiplication and division pieces last. Since this is 5 times x, what we actually need to take care of is this positive 7. So we do the opposite, which is to minus 7 from both sides. So that would give us 5x left on the left, and 22 minus 7 is 15. Then we do our last opposite, that was 5 times x, so we divide both sides by 5. So x would be less than 3. You can do a similar thing even if the variable is on the right side instead of the left. We'd still go through and do opposites, and we want to do the plus or minus opposite first. So since minus 13 is here next to the variable, we want to add 13 to both sides. Which gives us 10 less than or equal to negative 2x. Then our next opposite is negative 2 times x, so we divide by negative 2. And we get negative 5. Now because we divided by a negative 2, we also at this point have to switch the inequality sign. Anytime you divide or multiply by a negative value, then you switch the inequality sign. The second problem is we always want our variable on the left. So we want to switch the variable and the number, and when we do that, we switch the inequality sign again. Notice that the pointy part was pointing towards x before. We still need it pointing towards x, so it's got to flip. So there's our two-step inequalities. We can also have word problems where we have to write our own inequality. This one says the school band needs a banner to carry in a parade. The banner committee decides that the length of the banner should be 18 feet. What are the possible widths of the banner? I just realized I didn't write the whole problem. What are the possible widths if they can use no more than 48 feet of trim? That's a pretty important part, or else we can't write the entire equation. So when we have a banner, we know that is a rectangle. The length should be 18 feet, and the width we're not sure about. So a key point is that they can use no more than 48 feet of trim. Trim would be only on the outside edges. It'd be some sort of fancy decoration on the outside edges. And the outside edges, if we want to know what the total amount of the outside edges are, we add it all together to find the perimeter. So perimeter, we need all four sides. We know the bottom is 18, that means the top is also 18. We know the side is w, so we also know the left side is w. So perimeter, we add all of those together, w plus 18 plus w plus 18. They said we can use no more than. That means all of this added together should be less than or equal to 48. We have to use 48 feet exactly or less than 48 feet of trim. So now here we have to combine some like terms. We have two w's, so that adds together to be 2w. 18 plus 18 is 36. And now we just have our two-step equation that we solve. So we minus 36 from both sides. Give this 12 and divide both sides by 2. So w is less than or equal to 6. So the banner's width has to be 6 feet or less. So also with our inequalities, we can get a little more complex. Let's involve some parentheses in our problem now and we have multiple variables. So when you are working through these, you do want to simplify as much as possible first. That means if there's parentheses, we'll need to distribute. And if there are any like terms, we will need to combine. So 2 times t is 2t. 
2 times 2 is 4. That was our distribution step. We also need to combine like terms, 2t and negative 3t, are both to the left of the inequality sign, and so we can combine them as they are. We don't need to do any opposites when they're on the same side. So same side, same signs. 2t minus 3t is negative 1t. We still bring down the plus 4. And now we need to start doing opposites to move stuff to the other side, so we have to minus 4. And divide by negative 1. Again, when we divide by a negative number, we should flip the inequality sign. So t is less than or equal to positive 5. So notice our answer didn't come out negative. It's because we divided by a negative 1. So another complication can be if the variables are on both sides. This time we can't just combine the like terms because they're on opposite sides. So now we do have to do opposites with the variables as well. Normally we're used to saying, oh, it's a number next to a letter, we're going to divide. But that only moves the number itself. If we wanted to move just 3, we'd divide. If we want to move 3 and z, we've got to add or subtract. Since this is positive, there's no sign written in front, so it's assumed to be positive. We would need to minus 3z from both sides. Um, since graphing inequalities usually works better with the variable on the left, I always take the right side variable and add or subtract it over to the left. Gives us 2z minus 13 is greater than or equal to 8. Now we can just do our normal opposites. We add 13 to both sides. And we're going to have to get rid of that 2. And this time we do divide because we're just moving the 2. We just got rid of the 2. The z stays. So then 21 divided by 2 does not come out as a nice whole number. So we need the fraction. You could plug it in and get a decimal, except all the answers will be written in fraction form. So 2 into 21. 2 goes into 2 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. And I'll bring down the 1. 2 does not go into 1 at all, so it goes in 0 times. And you have a remainder of 1. So we have 10 times that it went in with a remainder of 1. And you are dividing by the 2 in the first place, so we have 10 and a half for our fraction answer. And finally, we could combine both. We can have parentheses and variables on both sides. So parentheses, we still need to distribute. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative m is negative 4. With the negative sign here, there's actually a 1 between it and the parentheses. Negative 1 is really there, so we're distributing a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2m is positive 2m, and negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. So now we have the variables on both sides, now we do our opposites. Again, I like to take the right side letter and move it to the left. Since this is currently positive 2m, we're going to minus 2m from both sides. Now we do our opposites with our regular two-step equation. Do the plus or minus first. This is a positive 12. Even though there's a minus between the 12 and the 6m, we always look at the sign in front of the number we're moving. So we want a minus 12 from both sides. Gives you negative 17. Negative 6m, we want to divide by negative 6. We've divided by a negative, so we flip our inequality sign. And again, this is not going to come out nicely. So we know negative divided by negative is positive, and then 6 goes into 17 two times with a remainder of 5. So we have 2, our remainder was 5, and we divided by 6. So 2 and 5 sixth is our answer in fractional form. So that concludes our discussion on multi-step inequalities.